and Friday marked one year since the start of the war in Ukraine, the solemn anniversary coming as new military aid arrived and the U.S. warns China of the consequences of providing aid to Russia. Here's ABC's Patrick Rebel with the details. As the war in Ukraine enters its second year, Ukraine tonight battling to hold off Russian assaults on the Eastern Front line as new military aid arrives. On Friday, the first key Leopard 2 tanks reaching Ukraine from Poland. Our senior military leaders really believe that the things they need most right now uh, are armored capabilities, artillery capabilities, air defense capabilities. Those are the things that, that we believe they're going to really need here in the weeks and months ahead. The Biden administration issuing what they're calling one of its most significant sanctions actions to date against Russia. The new package targets more than 200 additional people and companies, both in Russia and other countries, aiming to crack down on sanctions evasion. It comes amid concerns China is on the verge of supplying lethal aid to Moscow. Man, that's it. Ukrainian President Zelensky saying preventing that is his number one priority. President Biden telling ABC's David Muir he's warned President Xi Jinping against it. And I said, and if you are engaged in the same kind of brutality by supporting the brutality that's going on, I said you may face the same consequence. Biden and G7 leaders met with Zelensky virtually on Friday, promising to intensify financial and military support and to maintain it as long as it takes. In Kyiv, Zelensky presented military chaplains with state awards, marking the solemn anniversary of the start of the war. The UN says 13 million Ukrainians have been driven from their homes, 8 million of them as refugees in Europe. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ukraine in a desperate battle to hold the eastern city of Bakhmut, its top ground forces commander tonight travelling there to help personally direct the defence as Russia tries to encircle it. Patrick Reval, ABC News, Kyiv.